Peace be with you. Welcome back to my channel for another video, another spiritual download. If this is the first time that you're coming across my channel, I just want to greet you by saying, hey there, hi there, and hello there. You're more than welcome to like the video, share it, comment, come back, meditate, decide whether or not you want to like, share, or subscribe, whatever you feel that you've been guided here to do, that I'm sure you in spirit know what that reason is. And whatever that reason is, just know that I support you in the energy. Nevertheless, come in discerning what's for you, right? That's the best thing that you can do. Don't pick up something that's not for you. Just put it down, leave it for somebody else to take. Maybe it's somebody else's story. Maybe the next video will be your video. You're more than welcome to shop around here on my platform. There's an ample amount of timeless videos. It's always about the message and when you find it, right? It's always right on time. That is my belief. That is my mindset. But I don't feel like us meeting here at our first meeting, newcomers, is by coincidence. I know that everything happens for a reason. And whatever that reason is, I'm eternally grateful for it. I support the energy. If you're coming back to the channel, then baby, you are my beautiful soul tribe. You already know that we're out here purging under this moon. Is this moon not powerful? Ooh, is it not making you face your higher self? Okay, listen, come on in here. Let's have a talk. Let's have a chat. Let's have a sit down. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about why the hell negative Nancy and karmic Karen's ass fell out in mother freaking spiritual court. When I got the download, y'all, I was sipping on my smoothie. I hollered so loud. Some of these downloads are just downright hysterical. They're like, they're hysterical and they're hilarious, basically is what I was going to say. But their ass is hysterical in karmic court, okay? All I kept hearing is how, how, how did you figure this out? How did you get to this 10 of cups? How is it that we're walking our divine path? How is it that we're deviating from all negativity and welcoming in only good things? How, how, how? Somebody is in spiritual court and the somebodies are negative Nancy and Karmic Karen saying, why is this person getting their nine of cups? Why are they in the 10 of pentacles? Can you imagine somebody sitting and arguing with the divine providence? I can't, I don't wanna do it. I can't, but I'm in spiritual court. Don't shoot me, I'm just the messenger. I'm just here to channel the energy. Holy Spirit, my beautiful, beautiful guardian angels and my beautiful spirit team that's been rocking with me all these lifetimes. Let's do it again this time. Open up the door to truth, way, and light. Give me good energy. Give the collective good energy so that we are able to continue to overcome any obstacles, if to even call them obstacles at this point, that are in our way. Thank you, spirit. We appreciate it. Moving forward is what I heard. Something about purging out some energy. And somebody's like, how? Somebody did death magic under the new moon. You woke up the next day. They're like, how? Somebody did a poverty spell. Then you got something about good news about money and your business coming in. They're like, how? They're literally sitting in court questioning the universe, fighting with themselves, fighting with the universe, questioning the creator of all things as to how is it that we keep walking down this destined path of greatness? Somebody is really, really in a fight with themselves. And the great part is that they're losing. <laughs> you ever seen somebody slap boxing with themselves okay well it's an interesting thing to see shadow boxing somebody can't get out of their shadow they can't forget what it is that they've done i'm just glad that those somebodies are not us somebody's like how is it that they got a victory when they tried to blind you from the truth somebody's preparing for a demise of their situation and it's not us how is it that we're in the ten of pentacles and they did a five of pentacles spell okay poverty i'm i, I can't make it up five of pentacles is right here Somebody wanted us in this uh, energy and it just didn't happen. Okay, let's just call it what it is. Now they're in court. Now negative Nancy and Karmic Karen are fighting one another because they're saying, you said, he said, she said, I did, whatever. Okay, listen, everybody's being held accountable for their energy here in spiritual court. The two of swords is here. Somebody wanted to keep you blinded from the truth. Well, that's foolish. We are the high priestess. We can see everything. Okay, it is a victory. They're like, how? How? Like, they sound like a broken ass parakeet. How? How? Five of cups. Heavy and regret. Okay? This could have been some lovers. This could have been some karmic ass friends. I know karmic Karen is specifically a karmic either of an ex-lover or somebody that had teamed up maybe with a karmic lover of yours to try and take you down. The lovers is here. 
Somebody sees that you have new love coming in, that we have new love coming in. As a matter of fact, just a little commercial break, y'all. I had a dream about somebody that had to have been the love of my life. And it was so good. And it wasn't sexual, okay, at all. But it was very intimate. And I woke up like, oh. <laughs> I'm like, just as soon as I married myself and put a band on my hand here, who is this? So I know the person is coming and this is what we're all feeling. This is coming in and somebody, negative Nancy, they wanted to make everything negative for you so you couldn't manifest. And they're like, how didn't that happen? How is it that this person is getting a victory? How is it that they're getting new love? This is weighing them down. How is it that we weren't able to weigh down the divine collective? Yeah, they don't know how we're getting this victory. They don't need to know how. They just need to know that it's happening. Five of Swords, they could be fighting one another, these people, whoever that teamed up against you. Yeah, they're fighting one another. Yeah, how is it that this person is still the Empress? How is it that you're still sitting pretty? How is it that you're getting a new house? How is it that we're getting a new house? How is it that we're getting new everything? New, new, yeah. You could have went cold on these people, okay? King of Swords. Somebody thought that they were smarter than you. Somebody thought they were better than you. It was a foolish pursuit. Very ambitious though. How come people never try to be better than who they used to be? Okay, well, that's just me and spiritual court having a commercial break. Nevertheless, somebody did do magic. I can't make it up. I'm being guided to take it. Okay, you are the star. We are the stars. We're shining so bright. These people, uh, karmic Karen, if to call them that, the karmic Karens, more than one plural, and the negative Nancy's more than one. Listen, they're having a big ass tower moment. Somebody passed out in spiritual court, literally. Somebody could have really fallen ill, sick after doing some type of black magic that they thought was supposed to make us ill and sick. I'm serious. All under this moon, because this moon, yeah, and death. Thank you. And death. Somebody did death magic. Now there's a tower moment. Okay. Yeah, somebody actually wanted you dead, wanted us dead. And you woke up and we woke up. Okay, listen, justice is here. Balance. They're arguing with the scales. Somebody is really in spiritual court, acting as a full-blown fool. Heartbroken. Feeling as though that there's some type of injustice. Okay, how is it that we're getting good news about money, business, happiness, joy, okay? They're the last to get the memo stating that you are a spiritual guru. You are a real hierophant. You are somebody that is very vital in this world by way of what needs to happen, okay? You're a part of that beautiful divine plan. The hierophant is here. Somebody's in spiritual court screaming out, how? I'm getting ex-karmic lovers, their karmic karmics or whatever, whoever they are, baby, that we have long since left behind. The doors have been closed. Somebody was trying to keep you in a state of nostalgia. Mm, interesting. Mm -mm. <laughs> Page of Pentacles. Somebody's like, good news about money. How? Somebody could have gone to another hierophant to get some type of spiritual reading. Okay. Somebody could have gone to jail. Something about a conflict spell backfiring on one of these negative Nancys and these karmic ass Karens, okay? Out here caring way too much about your divine path, silently in competition with you. People that, again, you're not feeding them any energy. I don't really feel that we're giving these people anything to feed off of. And this is really what's got them in a frenzy. Eight of Swords, somebody could have gotten to some, some type of fight with the karmic and went to jail. Justice is here. And the Eight of Swords, yeah, they're betraying one another now. Ooh, we. I explained this. This is what's so interesting, y'all, in a previous reading, that once we decide to embark on our journey and just only open ourselves up to positivity, that they would run out of people to attack. Well, they already have. They've always run out of people to attack. Now they're just attacking one another. Yeah, they're fighting one another. Somebody is really going to get hurt. Somebody could um, have passed away, okay? I don't like to be the bearer of bad news for these negative Nancy-ass people. Yeah, sneaky and deceptive. Somebody was being sneaky and deceptive. Somebody pulled somebody else in to some type of karmic black magic. 
okay? And now everybody's blaming everybody else. It's like in spiritual court, they're all pointing the finger at each other, like acting a fool in spiritual court. Sit your, sit your punk ass down. Look at y'all. Look at you. Nine of swords ass. If you don't sit your nine of swords ass down, depressed and stressed. Oh, we, everybody's blaming one another. Spirit says they're all saying it's your fault. No, it's your fault. You're in spiritual court, in the presence of the divine providence, the creator of all things, because the creator interceded on our behalf, literally, and destroyed and or dismantled whatever these groups and covens are that just were relentless. Like they did this consistently, deliberately, compulsively, obsessively, just as easy as they breathe. I don't think somebody can breathe. I just feel like somebody is like, oh, I can't believe this. Somebody's like, how? You're supposed to be dead. Somebody wanted the power. The power is what I'm getting. The creator of all things came down and was like, I don't think so. This is not written for this to happen. So I don't know what it is y'all got going on, but I'm about to show you that I am still the great I am. Even if you've turned your back on me, even if you forgot who the creator is, I can kill you and never make other ones like you. This is what's happening. There's a lot of death and destruction, toil and labor. We're being about our father's work. We worked really, really diligently, obediently, consistently in this divine light that these karmic ass Karens are still confused and bewildered as to how you're sitting in this empress energy. Somebody did magic, okay, under this moon, death magic, damn. Somebody was waiting to grieve. Damn. Somebody thought you were going to pass away. That's what I heard Spirit say. They thought you were done. Yeah, somebody collaborated. Yeah, they thought you were done. Damn. I'm getting frenemies, enemies, ex-lovers, karmic, karmic. A lot of karmics, a lot of freaking karmics, okay? Somebody is like, how are you being celebrated? How are you out here having a good time? How? How? Somebody had planned a funeral, baby, and you were somewhere at a party celebrating spirit. Lord have mercy, listen. <laughs> oh! Somebody is like, how? Wondering why we have real joy. Somebody's like, how? Somebody wanted you stripped of your joy, your smile. Um, they wanted us stripped of everything. And we were sitting in this Ten of Cups energy, happy, very vibrant, very happy. <laughs> Just really glad to be alive. It's like, yes, I want to live. I want to live for my divine purpose. This is what I'm getting from the divine collective. I want to live and walk this purpose and this path. And somebody's like, how? Oh, karmic Karen, you care a little bit too much, baby, but you need to be caring about these other karmics and what y'all caring about should be this eight of swords, seven of swords, nine of swords. It's in order at seven, eight, nine, boo. Justice is here. Death is here for these karmics. Two of cups. Somebody wanted to come in and make some type of offer. Okay. And you turned it down. Why is that here? Somebody's offended that you turned down their fake ass cup of love. What? Could be a mother figure out here somewhere. Okay. Ooh, wee. I just heard they can't open up a door on you anymore. Whatever this judgment is, it's coming down rather quickly. Okay. I just heard before the night is up. Damn. Show me what I need to see. Oh, if y'all heard what I could hear, and I know that you can, divine collective, but when you know that you know, you know, we can't say everything, but you already know. Oh, we, I just heard a cold ass download when it comes to ook em, book em, schnook em, negative Nancy's ass, <laughs> the karmic ass Karens, caring too much. Oh, we, two of wands, baby. You chose a different route. Somebody was trying to like govern the affairs of your life, your destiny, and get you to go into some type of fake ass breadcrumb ass union. Somebody is like, how is it that this person is just going within and loving on themselves? How?
I just heard these karmic ass Karens and negative Nancys have no luck, no joy, no peace, no justice. But it's only the energy that they wished upon us that has returned to sender. Queen of Cups. Okay. Somebody's mother could be preparing for death. My condolences. But again, this was a karmic ass Karen. Queen of Cups. You're coming up as caring, loving, and kind, chosen by the divine ancestors to carry out the lineage by way of victory, by way of moving forward and setting your ancestors free. You've already set them free, I just heard, celebrating. They can't handle you. Somebody wanted to mismanage you and mishandle you. Somebody could have wanted to somebody to strong arm you. And I'm getting, this is like in a, Physical? No. Okay, spirit. Thank you. This is a spiritual stronghold, like domination. Somebody could have been doing domination prayers to dominate you, dominate our minds, our this, our that. This is what they're saying. Yeah, the world is over. Somebody's about to meet their demise. Four of Cups. Somebody could be over drinking. I bet the hell they are. Ooh, we can we just have a commercial break? What the hell is going on, y'all? Somebody was like, this is it. Somebody thought this was the perfect opportunity under this moon, baby, to put all of their last little bewildered ass, karmic, Karen ass, negative Nancy ass strength into this final big finale, the grand finale, you know, finale, this big, huge, you know, demonic ass fiasco that was supposed to happen only to realize that it's only happening to them. Somebody took all of what they had left. Somebody mustered up the very last of whatever energy that they should have kept for themselves to survive. This is why they're passed out. This is why they've fallen out in, in karmic court. What is it that I need to see? Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Lord have mercy. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. This is like falling from grace. This is falling from grace. Six of Cups is people that, again... Um, could have done some type of shadow magic, shadow work, trying to open up doors on you to keep you like stuck mentally, wanting to come back to dark situations. Like what? Y'all, what the hell? Hmm. They did this to a hierophant? Okay, well, you know, let me come on back to spiritual court. But Ace of Pentacles in re reverse is like being cut off from the divine. There's nothing divine about these people. They're lost. They're under judgment. When I previously pulled the cards, the judgment card came up in reverse. Somebody was begging in court saying that they wanted justice in an unjust situation. See, these are the ones right here for me that the negative Nancy's baby, you was channeling so much negative energy. You got the spiritual audacity to say that you want some type of spiritual amnesty and or spiritual justice. Now you're trying to come to calmer waters. Somebody's going to be contacting you to try to be friends and be nice or something. Stay away from this energy. It's really nothing else to say. Somebody really, really was channeling some dark ass, demonic, like dark ass energy towards you. And because you were so positive and you stayed in the light, I'm getting it just bounced off of you like pop. Earlier, before I was doing this reading, my candle popped real hard. Somebody was sending me something real nasty. I was like, oh, thank you, spirit. That candle was like, I heard it loud. Right? Somebody thought it not robbery to play around with your path and they found out the hard way and the most high is like, I'm about to whoop your ass and drag you. Okay, period. Ace of Pentacles is in reverse. Somebody's not getting a new beginning. Somebody didn't want you to have a new beginning all the while. You got the Ace of Cups and they're fighting. Somebody's going to jail. It might be today. Could have been Friday night. Something about something about conflict. King of Pentacles could be significant. This King of Pentacles has been coming up a lot. Why is that King of Pentacles here? Yeah, oh, okay. They see you as self-sufficient. Thank you, Spirit. Because I was like, hold up. They got the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Let's make it make sense, Spirit. Okay, because we need this to math. <laughs> the Empress, somebody sees you as very independent, loyal. You could have a new union coming in, okay? Yeah, Eight of Swords. Somebody's going to jail. I feel like it's spiritual. Is it spiritual jail? Yeah, it's spiritual jail. Somebody's stuck. 
somebody wanted an isolation spell, wanted you to feel left out in the cold. You out here celebrating, dressed up, ready to go, answering all good invites and hanging out with people that got good energy. Woo! Somebody is like, how? Mm -mm -mm. Poor little negative Nancy and little Tink Tink's ass and karmic ass Karen has lost their shit. Somebody's like, how is it that this person keeps going within and loving themselves? How is it that we keep doing that, mastering that, and getting through these cycles when really our cycles are not even about them anymore because the Six of Cups is the past. Somebody thought they were spying in on your life, opening up a door, but what they were really seeing was into their own minds, the own, their own like darkness. They're only blinding themselves. Everything that they thought they were seeing for you was really what they were seeing for them. It's a mirror effect. Oh, it mirrored back to them. That's crazy. Somebody was seeing their own demise and didn't even know it. So they kept going. They're stuck. Damn. Damn. Stuck like a truck in spiritual court. Somebody can't move forward. Somebody didn't want you to move forward and now they're stuck. Somebody wished this on the divine collective. This is what they wanted for us collectively is what I'm getting. Now they're stuck. Like literally stuck. Somebody's car could stop working. Somebody could be going to jail. Somebody could be going through some type of crazy ass psycho phenomenon, whatever this is, seeing, seeing demons, all this other type of stuff. Who is this hierophant? That's also giving me police activity, investigator. Like that hierophant is giving me jail. Like this could be in the 3D. This really could be. Somebody could have charged at somebody or somebody could have been trying to charge at somebody to hold you back or do something, some type of physical harm to you. Somebody got stopped. I don't know what the hell this is. Somebody could have been coming towards you to hurt you physically in the 3D, just frustrated. A karmic ass Karen that just can't take the fact that they've lost at their own game behind something that was in their own mind, some illusion that they created, some silent competition that they're in that you don't even like know that they exist. They could have tried to get somebody to hold you back. I'm getting holding back energy, conflict, fighting now, or somebody is in this energy. Somebody was planning to attack you or send somebody in to sneak up on you, fight you and attack you. And something happened to where now these people are fighting and attacking one another there's a lot of demonic activity here. These are real conjures, y'all. These are real diabolical ass demonic ass forces that were on assignment to do something supposedly to a divine being that never manifested. And now these people are being held down, weighed down. They could be fighting with spirits. Okay, I'm serious. Mm. Yeah, Knight of Swords. This is somebody charging at somebody. You had courage and you illuminated things. And Spirit says, you continue to dodge bullets. We're dodging bullets. Like it's a profession. Like, I mean, okay, well, come on in. Huh. Spirit says, keep on moving. You could be asking, is this where I'm supposed to be? Keep on manifesting. Keep on staying positive. Your positivity alone is making them drown in this darkness. You remember, okay, I know we're saying this lightly, but somebody was waiting to get a call that you had died. Somebody could have been calling your phone over and over to see if you had died. So moving forward, just on a positive note, what we're doing, we're manifesting still, being independent, business is looking good, the lovers is here, now they feel as though we're spying on them because they're paranoid. Whatever these spirits are that they sent out, these spirits can no longer follow you, watch you. They just can't. They can't do it to us anymore. Whatever they were allowed to do by way of what the creator felt we needed to learn about this type of an energy in order to move about and or learn how to transmute, right? Because everything that we encounter has to benefit us at this level. It's, it's vital and essential to our awakening. But we've passed that level. We no longer need it. So with this mirroring energy, with this energy going back to these people, all this negativity that they spewed onto us, Divine Collective, they now are paranoid. They feel like people are watching them. They feel like something is on them. 
Whoo, honey. I just heard somebody can't even pass by your house no more. Wow. Yet and still, somebody wants to come in and make some type of breadcrumb ass offer to be friends. It's the, you know, we can't beat you. We need to join you type of an energy. This is an op. This is an undercover person. This person is trying to get you caught up. Knight of Pentacles. Breadcrumb. Fake ass friend. And you got a love offer coming in. A real one. You're manifesting it though. You could be calling in divine love just by saying I am divinely loved and or, you know, favored by the creator of all things. That in itself is calling in more love, more patience, more peace, more joy for self first and foremost. Because negative Nancy and um, uh, Karma Karen, they've been silenced. There's so much like, what is this? What is that? That's so much going on in these people's lives. I just heard they got so much going on that they can't even be concerned about us at this point. But yet and still, you mean to tell me you mustered up the energy in spiritual court to say how? You mustered up enough energy and or breath within your body to say how and still here's the Knight of cups. You want to come in and try to befriend the high priestess when they know that you're not real. We don't need no new friends. Three of pentacles. This person could try to come in and try to work with you. Whoever this queen of pentacles is, they now want to be friends with you. But guess what? They're still sneaky and deceptive. They're only coming in because they couldn't beat you because they couldn't defeat you. They're trying to outsmart you. Ten of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. This is what we're in. We're manifesting the Nine of Cups and Ten of Pentacles. Very, very happy. For them, it is a tower. The veil has been lifted. They've been exposed. Their spiritual draws are hanging out in spiritual court and they're crusty as hell. Okay? Negative Nancy and ugly ass Karmic Karens. Y'all ass have been called out in spiritual courts. Do you understand what this means? This means that the wrath of God is on your ass and justice is here and my is weighing out the scale. Somebody thought you were a joke and now nobody's laughing. Nine of wands, baby. You're protected. You were guarding your energy wise as spirit was guiding you to do so. I just keep seeing white light shoot across me. I don't know what level of the ascension I'm on, baby, but I saw a big orb of white light just shoot past my door. Not just now, but earlier. And then one just shot past the left side of my body here. Not only that, my candle popped. My angels was like, I don't think so. Something could have been trying to come towards me. Something could have been trying to prevent this reading. I don't know, but my angels stopped it. And I'm very grateful. Nine of wands. Fight, angels, fight. If you smell it, I trust you. Sniff it out, destroy it. <laughs> This is where we're at. Ace of Cups, we got the helping hand of the creator of all things, protecting protecting us, covering us, guiding us, okay? Justice is here. Mayotte is here. She's in the building. Baby, I just want to come out real quick because I got personal readings. Y'all hit me up for these emergent situations. So we're going to go ahead and get through it. But listen, dear negative Nancy, dear negative Nancy's, I'm sorry, let me include all of y'all. And, and these nasty ass, Karen ass, karmic, karmic, Karen ass people. You have been defeated under this moon. This was your last moon. You tried, you cried, you lied. Light, laid out, you crying about it, tried out, all cried out. You don't know which way you're going, coming or going. You don't know what the hell is going on. It's a lot of confusion around them. And the fact, again, that they thought they could have the spiritual audacity to question the creator of all things, to ask, why is it that we're getting this amnesty? Why are we so divinely protected? Why is it that they can't kill us? Why is it that they can't come for our path, bind our feet, take our journey, take our power? Why? They just want to know why. Okay. Well, I just heard the creator of all things has turned to death ear. When I saw that ace of pentacles in reverse, I was like, ooh. Well, if the creator of all things is turning a deaf ear, then so shall we. Because I'm only going where the creator wants me to go. And with that is prosperity, peace, love, joy, genuine love. Okay, some of these people are just empty vessels going to and fro at this point. And they don't know where their soul has wandered off to. But they're getting a clue now, unfortunately, that it is in hell somewhere because they lost it. Trying to take you out. Somebody that's vital and essential. All because they were jealous of the fact that you 
are loved by the creator, that we're loved by the creator. Well, it's still a good day for us. Sucks to be them, but I'm glad they're them and, and we are us and we're here and they're there. Nevertheless, this is the message. I love you wherever you are on this beautiful planet. I'll see you all in the next video, okay? All my information is in the description box below. I'm still only doing emergent issues, okay? So email me, please. Be very um, detailed about what it is that you're wanting to work on and or focus in on by way of what you consider to be an emergent situation. I am about 72 hours out, so just be patient if you don't get a response right away. And I appreciate y'all. I am eternally grateful. All the information's there if you need me. Love you. <laughs> Until the next video as always, peace be with you.